here with uh, Wade Rasky, author of um, Citizen Wealth. Um, could you just tell us about Citizen, Citizen Wealth and what you're writing about and your message and that sort of thing? Great. Glad to. Uh, what I'm writing about is income security. How low and moderate income families, working families, can get more than one or two paychecks away from unemployment and homelessness. And that's more and more of a problem these days. So uh, we talk about campaigns that through concerted activity, organizations, community organizations, unions and others, wages have been raised, houses have been built, predatory practices have been stopped. To try to encourage people to do what you can do to really stand up and make a difference. Do you discuss um, universal health care in the book? I mention health care quite a lot because health care is probably the largest reason that bankruptcies occur mm -hmm. and in many cases for a long time until very recently it was the single largest cause of foreclosures. So when we were negotiating the subprime companies over and over again we were having to tell them this is not about people not wanting to pay or able to pay. In some cases it's catastrophic. If you could modify that mortgage they could stay in the house. But that's a harder thing for people to do. Do you think, given given the current I'm debate, and sign, you tell me where? You're, these oh. two are special. Ones, so. Okay, so hold on, hold on. Yes. Oh, let me do, let me do one from my. Okay. Did you get these two here? We're going to. Oh. Given, we'll just say, I'm sorry. You, yep, that's okay. Do you think the president and the Congress are doing enough? And what else? What more can be done to to get what's being debated? Well, not enough has been done until we win. I mean, uh, clearly. As we're talking today, even the president is trying to get back in the game and stand up as straight as he can uh, to make this happen at least before the end of the year. Okay, thank you, baby. Um, and uh, I'm hoping he really does, in fact, put every ounce of pressure he can to make it happen. I mean, I don't want to, you know, none of us want his whole presidency to ride on one issue because this is more than a one issue recession, it's more than one issue problem we're in. but. Um, the real, the real situation, I think, is in Congress, where we still have too many people fighting vested interest, and lobbyists are still having way too much impact. When uh, I can't believe there's anybody who doesn't realize how desperately we're like the last industrialized country that doesn't have a, a universal plan of some kind. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? And you can't count. Look, you're from Michigan. You can't count on the UAW to negotiate. You know the kind of benefits we've had in healthcare. No union can do that. I mean, in my union with the service employees, I run a local 100 here. God, I mean, we're hardly holding on to any health care. It's employer pay. You know, it's not the kind of UAW. You just can't do it. So, so, so what is like the SEIU or whoever else? What are they doing um, to help? I guess get it passed. The SEIU has made a tremendous commitment to. Uh, they have operations in about 15 or so states where they have made tremendous investments both of members as well as resources. Here there's about 14 people working around the state because Senator Landrieu's vote is so critical as one of those sort of mushy Democrats that we have to have to make this pass, uh, not only on health care but EFCA and everything else. So they've had a robust Vanessa, political program, and that's sort of true in Colorado. And hey, I, I, you know, I don't. No, that's no, a, that's an honor doing. being pictured with Vanessa here. <laughs> We've had many doing. pictures this side of the lineup. So yeah, Vanessa is my hero, my leader. Followed her into too many I'm places. Not mess with you today. Yeah, okay. Yes, you let me get away with this, huh? Luckily, we took off the mic, so it's safe for me to say this. <laughs> well, that's still recording. Well, whatever. Okay, <laughs> it's all fair. Okay, so, so what's the next? Um, well, and is, is Acorn actively involved too? The, uh, from what I know, Acorn is. Uh, before I left, Acorn was part of something called uh, HCAN, the HCAN campaign, which was a uh, multi-organizations, unions, and others. And Marie, isn't uh, ACORN still involved in that HCAN effort? Oh, yeah. So Marie is, I think, the coordinator here in Louisiana. Okay. So uh, I left ACORN in the U.S. about a year ago. So I worked uh, with the international operation and Local 100 and some other things. But okay. from everything I know, ACORN is still up to their eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then lastly, well, that's a perfect question. Um, 
if for the people watching this, if they want to get involved, who should they contact and how should they get involved? Well, the uh, I'd love for them to go on the website, www.chieforganizer.org. It says exactly how you can get involved either in a citizen wealth campaign or support the uh, international work that we're doing in mega slums around seven countries, not Canada, but you know, everywhere else. And, uh, you know, certainly for those people who want to support ACORN, ACORN's at www.acorn.org, and it's a great organization. I was so proud to have spent uh, 38 years there. And, you know, God knows, they need a friend right now. They've got enough people lined up on the other side, so we need to have uh, some good people lined up on our side. Give them an attaboy. Okay. Well, I appreciate Great. your time. Is there anything well, else? No. Uh, good luck to you. What is this little thing here? It's just a little camera. Hi, you... <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Marie. It's one of those... Uh, you, well, you they actually that right on the uh, computer yeah. or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's got such a funny right look to it. Yeah. <laughs>